Okay, fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Incident at Grove Lake. Wow, what's it been like a day since my last upload? Let's check these settings out. Everything looks to be in order. You could just turn off sound. Why would you want to do that? Anyway, Incident at Grove Lake. I can only imagine what might happen at this lake. Don't know, but the thumbnail looked pretty cool. It looked almost like a rapture. So maybe we got like a, I don't know, end of the world thing going on. Let's find out. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Do I read descriptions? No. Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. I don't need to read descriptions, okay? I've got context clues and a brain. Restricted area, no trespassing. <laughs> this looks... Kind of strange. It looks like the background or like the ground is a painting and then there's actual 3D objects, kind of like Resident Evil 1. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's all just really selectively pixelated. I wonder who works there. They don't even have a restroom. Terrible job. Initializing scan. Connecting to server. Host client reached. Oh yeah, triangulating target position. Connecting to live footage. Live audio. Connected. I'm in. Hack completed. On dial-up? Oh, there's like a bug. Click to begin. Hell yeah. Target. Appreciate you taking my call. Unknown. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. I don't think they'd discharge you for that. Heh. <laughs> not so smart as they think at S4, huh? Clearly not, because kidney stones is... Far from an, a medical emergency. Take some pain pills and go pee. Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure. Let's make it a public place. <laughs> you guys don't sound very smart now. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's say the diner on Redacted. Works for me. I'll bring what I found. If this is live, how could you possibly redact that? Whatever. Good. I'll see you soon. Remember what I've risked for this. Risked for this. I remember. Line disconnected. Ow. somewhere north of Nevada. Dude, Nevada? I'm sorry to anybody who lives there, but September 9th, 1997. <laughs> I'm sorry, but whoever lives there... <sighs> How do you do it, is my question. It's just so hot. And full of sin, you know? We're looking for a diner. I don't care too much about the sin, but it's really hot out there. Uh, looks like it might be that one. This game is really low, by the way. I hope it's okay for you guys. Tammy's Fish and Chips in Nevada? <laughs> Who would go there? <laughs> when did you get these fish? It must be you, right? This would be so scary to be one of them. <laughs> Nobody has a face, by the way. Yeah, I'll have something for my thirst. And maybe a flight out of Nevada. Is 
Talk to stranger. This is 1997. So, thank you for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much g g getting here. They're following me. I don't have much time. Please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go. And be careful. Damn, that guy's walking fast. They'll follow you, too. Pick up tape and files. Who's gonna follow me? I thought nobody... Well, I mean, I guess they did jack in and hear our conversation, but... Dude, they're on to us. Like, clear as day. September 10th, 1997. So this is the, the day before? East of the Rockies, you're or the day after? Uh-oh. This game is so low. What's the radio saying? You can't get much lower. Please. I tell you about something that happened in uh, about 1977, 1978. First person to you? To me. Okay. Um, at the time, I was working um, at O'Hare Airport. I was working security there. My first job. And wait a uh, second. I was living in Chicago. Is this about UFOs? Uh, with other roommates. That would all add up. <laughs> uh, Nevada. That way we didn't the have tapes. To worry about, you know, the secrecy. Doing laundry and stuff, you know, but what was that, like, religious quote in the beginning? <laughs> so, you know, I work late, late night. Communal trash. Man, this yeah, guy will not get to the point of a story. He works at the airport at night. <laughs> Typical bachelor pad, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Typical bachelor night, pad, he says. Um, but one, one night, it was Halloween night. Like I said, 77 or 78. Oh man, if I was if I was the interviewer, I would have I would have cut him off. I would have told him to shut his mouth already. Look at documents. Okay, looks like symbols. Yeah, this is totally UFOs. Ooh, is that a gray? Oh, that's totally a gray. Huh. All right. I wish I there were some words for me to read, but everything is redacted. What good are these documents if everything is redacted? You can't prove a single thing anymore. Insert tape. Watch tape. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident number 17. Example of encounter type F. Copying or distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved to members with TSSCI clearance. The following took place August 19th through the 21st of 1997. Grove Lake redacted. The tape was discovered and handed to somebody who could read faster than me. Please contact your facility supervisor on conclusion of this tape as outlined in section 4B. Uh, you would not know what to do. The person with the tape would have no clue what to do. They'd have to rewind a, a dozen times. What do they want from me again? A certain level of English fluency? I don't have it. 5.28 p.m. August 19th. 1997. This guy... This guy's got moves. He can walk. Hmm, what are we doing here? I guess we're maybe just hiking? No clue. Hmm. Why are we filming? That's another good question. 
Especially when there's nothing, you know what I mean? There's nothing going on. Ooh, we're clearing. Maybe we saw something crash, and that's why we're, like, doing this whole thing. A UFO, perhaps, you know? Quite frankly, I think... That can't be the whole tape. He was like, damn, I got nothing. Turn it off. I know what that feels like. 11.02 p.m. August 19th, 97. I was saying, if I saw a UFO crash, I'd be fucking gone. Oh, there's the UFO. Did you see it? Go back. You didn't see it, you liar. I barely caught it. Uh, but yeah, I think I'd just leave it alone and run away. You know what? That depends, though. Do I feel lucky? Do I feel like I'd get superpowers? You know, like that whole kind of thing. 8 a.m. August 20th, so this is the next day, and we're at the lake. Because you never know, like, you touch the alien, you absorb its powers. Something like that could happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. See, those birds wouldn't have made it out of there if I had my superpowers. Post-touching the alien. I'm mad about being scared by those birds. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> My pride. So this tape is describing something, or I guess it's not a tape, it's a radio station, describing seeing something in the sky at 8.32. It's currently 8.31. And there's three dots hanging over us at 8.31. So... I guess we'll see, huh? What do we got in store? Oh boy, aliens. I've always said there's not enough alien games. Good ones, at least. We're gonna camp? Uh, please turn Supplied Handbook to page 42. We will now review the four types of encounters. The first kind, CE-1, visual sightings of an unidentified flying object seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an appreciable angular extension in considerable detail. Okay. So one that's very visible, like this one here. Okay. The second kind, CE-2. A UFO event with physical effect, such as interference, animal reactions, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation, or a chemical trace. Well, this animal's definitely been affected, um, physically. Either its face was burnt off, or some chemical was used, I'm not sure. The third kind, UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. Humans? Damn, I guess I've never considered that. Like if aliens recruited people like you or me to become pilots. I think if they have vehicles that could go in and out of space, in and out of time... 
they could probably teach you how to fly a flying saucer, right? The fourth kind, CE4. A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Okay, so this is the image I saw, I think, in the thumbnail, but I did not see the flying saucer. This is what led me to believe it was a game about the rapture. <laughs> Plus the quote in the beginning, you know. No, I don't read descriptions. I already told you. I'm a visual guy. The following is an example of CE2. Please identify someone who can fucking read faster than me. Anybody. Anybody out there. 7.50 p.m. August 20th. Oh, okay, so this is still us. We're just kind of looking at the night sky. Oh, I see that thing. But this is an example of a CE2. So there's going to be some kind of like crop circle or something. What are they doing? All right, well, let's see if I'm right. 9 p.m. August 20th, still the same day. Our fire died. I think they're going to tell us when... That was an animal scream? I think they're going to tell us when it's a fourth encounter. And that's going to be the scary tape for sure. Giant footsteps. Oh, couldn't be me. No fucking way. No, man. I'd be hiding... <laughs> <laughs> they would never find me. I can't run. Oh, no, this can't be right. They're going to see me. Gosh. Oh, yes. That's definitely safe. They're going to be looking for people in cabins, dude. I'm going crazy. August 21st, 97. Dude, how the hell did we get this camcorder back? Oh, I could fall down there? No. This place is huge. That guy got impaled. Okay. It's not going to be us, right? No way. Oh, that lady got impaled. Couldn't be me. Oh, man. You got the worst of it, didn't you? <laughs> Dude. What a waste. They at least experimented, right? I don't know what that means for me. Oh no.
5 a.m. Low battery. Huh. It's raining, too. The tape has now concluded. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to Archives Section 4. Please now contact your facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. You will be signing and completing Form 52 up upon completion. 52 up. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Please eject tape now. See, we're about to get kidnapped by the U.S. Gov. Oh, those are buildings. <laughs> I thought that was the inside of my room. I was like, what? I think this might be the U.S. of Gov. Um, they're knocking on my door. Where's my fully loaded six-shot revolver? It's got to be around here. Dude, we already know what's going to happen, right? As soon as I walk over there. <laughs> oh. You fucked up. You know too much. Like anybody would believe that tape anyway. On September 11, 97, talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call from a man claiming to have worked. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and... and... <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're they're, uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone. So give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. What well, what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that. An earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming. They the, the military. I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and th there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now, Art. But they're not <laughs> doing, they're not doing anything. They are not, they want the major population centers wiped out <laughs> so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I, I, I started getting... Connection lost. I mean, this isn't voice over IP, dude. What do you mean, connection lost? Created by Dan McGrath. Thanks for playing. I mean, like, the line disconnected? Whatevs. Technicalities, right? Alright, so that was Incident at Grove Lake. What do I think? 
I think this is a pretty cool UFO game. I think it's pretty cool. I don't really know what else to say about it. I guess there's, I didn't run into any bugs. I didn't run into anything like that. So it's your standard walking simulator narrative horror game. Well, is it a horror game? You know, I guess it's, it's more like, I don't even really know what to define this as. I'd call it more of a narrative horror type of thing. And as a narrative horror game, it works well. I don't think there's any shocking twists to what the person is saying. I mean, things like that have been conspiracies since, uh, since before my dad was born, you know? So it's not like this is breaking news to the mass population or whoever's listening to this radio show. Uh, the tape itself is something that I don't even think the government would be interested in. Like, oh, they took the tape. Don't worry about it. No one's going to believe them anyway. It's a stupid VHS tape with, like, things that you would probably find in any practical horror movie set, you know? The lights and stuff like that, whatever. Uh, I don't think the mass population would buy it anyway. But I guess if I was the government, I'd be like, I want that back. And then I'd probably shoot this person too. I don't know. Anyway, I enjoyed it. I think it was fun. And it's free. So if you like the game, head over to their Itch.io and follow them and support Dan McGrath. Handsome Dan. Uh, Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys real soon with The Bunker. Because I finally have time to play it and it just came out. So yeah, subscribe for that. Okay, bye-bye.